Hello and uh, welcome to this video wherein we will try to understand that how we can mark a leave entry. As uh, mentioned earlier, the website address, the website address for accessing this biometric attendance system is http colon double slash 14.139.231.178 colon 82 and once I write this web address over here and uh, press enter, this particular screen will be displayed wherein you are supposed to write your login ID and password and once you write your login ID and password you will be uh, receiving your dashboard uh, from, from the server and that dashboard is visible over here once dashboard is visible now let's assume you want to mark a leave entry you have to again go back to the masters menu option and once you go to the masters menu option then you will find one sub menu option that is employee leave entry and once you click on this employee leave entry you will find all the leave entries that you have made as of now and if you if you want to assign a new leave entry what you need to click on is assign leave entries and the procedure is same you have to click on show filter if you want to search any individual if you are having all people listed over here then no need to worry about that you have to select an individual and once you select an individual you can just mark a leave whether it is a full day leave whether it is a half day leave from which date up to what date and then you can mention the type of the leave this is a casual leave paternity leave sick leave earned leave ccl ml ph all leaves are mentioned and if you find that any leave that you are supposed to enter is not mentioned over here then you need to communicate uh, the administrator that is the eris uh, for inclusion of that leave let's assume that an employee is not available over here you can click on show filter and again using the same example what i have used uh, previously i'll click on contains and then i'll write 368 uh, 3680 and i'll apply this filter and once I apply this filter, let's suppose I want to mark a leave for myself, uh, Mudassiram Kirmani. I'm mentioning that uh, I was uh, I was on leave for half day on 14th of July. Uh, then you have to uh, mention that who has approved this leave and if your uh, user ID is head uh, division of uh, social sciences, it will be automatically displayed over here in this particular domain and you need to put a remark whether if you wish you can put it's not necessary because it's a leave and the heading of the leave is already mentioned over here and once you click on this assign leave entry the leave entry you can see that it, it is mentioned over here leave uh, entry has been added successfully now let me go back to the leave entries i am going back to the leave entries so that i can see whether the leave entry has been made or not you can see over here a leave entry has been made by my name and it has been mentioned half day and what i'll do is i'll just click on delete so that the my leave entry which uh, i just showed over here for the demonstration purposes i'll uh, delete it now the second aspect is uh, how you are going to generate a report now at times what happens is uh, once you go for uh, generating a report you can uh, generate a report based on daily attendance based on monthly attendance whatever you wish let's assume i'm clicking on monthly attendance the time i click on monthly attendance you need to remember certain basic points if you want to find out monthly attendance whether a person was present or absent you can uh, get it done by selecting this option that is basic report but uh, at the same time, if you want to find out if a person is absent, it, if a person is absent but he has uh, been in the office, he has marked his biometric attendance, then you can check detailed report for that, that uh, particular month. In a detailed report, you will receive the complete details of an individual at what time he has made an entry uh, while coming to the office on biometric machine and uh, on what time the person has uh, marked the entry on biometric device while moving out. So if you want to get a detailed uh, report along with the duration, uh, the duration for which the employee was present in the office, then what you need to do is you need to click on detailed work duration report. So whatever you select over here, that uh, particular attribute will be implemented uh, while uh, generating the report. And one more attribute which you need to focus over here is, let's suppose I'm uh, clicking on basic work du duration. You must click on recalculate attendance option. This should be checked. What, what, is, what it means is, let's assume you have made an outdoor entry just now, but you are generating a report. It might be possible that it will generate the report based on 10 o'clock data. 
but if you are uh, generating the report at 10:30 where you have made an outdoor entry it is better it is preferred it is recommended to have recalculate attendance option checked once you click on this recalculate attendance what it will do is it will firstly recalculate the attendance based on the new entries that you have made and all those new entries will be included in the report that you are generating now uh, you can generate report for your division you can generate report for an individual employee if you remember the code of an employee what you can do is you can click on filter employee and you can write the code of the employee if you say 3680 only the person with 3680 his his entries for a month will be generated wherein you can get the complete details what was the in time what was the out time or how much duration he was here so accordingly you can take appropriate decisions based on the report that is available so if i let's suppose i'll not click on filter employees i'll just click on i'll deselect all i'll say based on the company i'll deselect uh, all and now i'll select uh, sorry deselect all i'll select division of social sciences if i click on division of social sciences and i click on uh, generate report uh here is the report that has been generated and division of social sciences report is available once i open it it is the basic uh, ba i had clicked on uh, detailed report therefore you can see what is the in time of an individual and then what is the out time of an individual then uh, what was the total duration he was staying over here this signifies the first component signifies number of hours the second component signifies the number of minutes so accordingly you can find out whether a person was present or absent Uh, you, the, the complete details for an individual are uh, available over here and based on the report you can use it for appropriate decision making now let me close this and let me just put uh, one more attribute which i would like to mention over here generally what people do is they download uh, this in excel format excel format is not preferred if you download it in excel format and make any entries that the, those entries are local to you those entries are not updated on the server so whatever entries you need to make that have to be made on the server only that is on the biometric attendance system if you download anything in excel and then afterwards you modify that it won't be appropriate because server will not have that entry therefore it is recommended to download only and only pdf file uh, based on uh, your requirement i hope that i am able to explain the leave entries and report generation and you have understood from this video and you will be using this biometric attendance system uh, in in an appropriate uh, manner thanks a lot for patiently hearing me thank you.